Hi, I'm Don Calhoun. And I'm Dwayne Coos, and we're co-authors of the book, How to Dance with the Elephant. Thanks for joining us today. We've got a great topic that I know you're going to get directly involved with, and that is, how do I gain control of my life? <laughs> uh, nothing to it. I have control. <laughs> yeah. I, I think, Dwayne, one of the first things that our, you know, we, we recognized when we were talking in private and we've been on this journey together and our audience will hopefully uh, uh, relate to, and that is first step would be understanding the things that you literally can't control. Uh, that you have no power over, that you can't control. So, you know, for example, I can't make you like me. I can't perceive how you perceive me. I can't control that. I can't make the sun rise in the west, even though for my house it sure would be nice. I can't control the weather. I can't control my necessarily uh, how my employees are going to react to me. Uh, Ah, heck, I, I could have been a fantastic football player if I was <laughs> seven foot, but I, don't, you know, I wasn't that. So most of us w do waste an, a disproportionate amount of our energy trying to believe that we control or have control over certain things, right? And, and people worry incessantly, and believe me, do you, do, do you ever see anxiety. anybody have anxiety and, oh my God, is it going to be safe to go to school today? And is, it, is, is Junior going to make it across the street? And, oh, make sure you're all bundled up. And, and whatever it is, we worry about so many things, whether it's the economy, the health of our nation, our family. Do we really have control over that? Well, and let's let's do a, a, a quick Ernest Becker. Three things are for sure. Number one, life, you're gonna die. Yeah. Number two, you could die any moment. Yeah. And number three, you're no different than roadkill. <laughs> I thought it was going to be death and taxes and life. Um, but literally, this journey is the ultimate supreme elephant that we've talked about is the thing that we can't control is, is the time that we're here. So first of all, when you look at that, understand that you have control over certain things and, and no control over others. So how do we gain control, first of all, is that. But I'm, I'm mindful, Duane, metaphorically what we have here is a journey. And if you're an airplane pilot and you're on the East Coast, you're going to fly from New York to L.A., that pilot has to have a destination. He has to know where to fly. He can't just get the fly plane off the ground and fly to the setting sun, fly to the west. Uh, he won't get there. So we, in life, have to have a destination we're going to go to. That doesn't mean that wind currents are going to affect his journey, the weight of the plane and the number of passengers and all those other factors that do it, how much fuel, how much speed he has, and he's going to adjust his course. Our life is not much different. We have to learn that what we drive and what we can control, what our gas pedal is, what our brake is, and the steering wheel of life, and those other things that we don't have control over, we have to wor uh, not worry about. What I love most about your, um, your description just moments ago was that aspect that there was a destiny. There was a place that that pilot was headed for. Mm -hmm. And that brings me back to the equation that we've built for life's cosmic destiny and my belief is and I think your belief as well is that you gain control when in fact you can look and understand who you are relative to your creative power yeah, your passion and you understand the power you have of selecting and being receptive to this and not to that you have faith in yourself and you understand that yes you could die at any moment but for this day, you applied all the resources that you've been given, and you did what you were destined to do. 
in the time and place in which you're doing it. So this really does come back to that equation, right, Dwayne? For our audience, it comes back to, okay, applied concentration effort in each parts of the equation, your focus of your time, your receptive choice. And, and I, literally, that control aspect is the responsibility. It is the understanding that you, no one else controls your life, you do. You have the steering wheel of your life. And, and if I could make that any more impactful, quit as much as you can transferring and disconnecting that this is your automobile, your life. I have no control over it. No, 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 that, that's your responsibility, you have it. And then recognizing what you don't have control. So this is a magical, powerful journey, and, and Dwayne and I have, have really enjoyed the time that we have put in in this, and hopefully these things just touch base with you, and we can help you on, on that journey. Remember, we're planting seeds. You have a marvelous mind, experience, ability to take ideas and formulate them for what makes sense for you. And the, and the beauty, I believe, of what we put together here is something that's, that's got something for everybody, that, that you can apply this to truly bring greater fulfillment to your life. And uh, with that, we thank you for being a part of this. Thank you. If you enjoyed today's information and would like to receive 20 free videos, 20 free videos that cover the key questions that people usually ask about dancing with the elephant, you can go to dancewiththeelephant.com. Dance